All right, Tara, last back, we're here um, the 14th of September, 2023. Wanted to look at uh, Kim Jong-un and, of course, um, uh, Vladimir Putin's quote-unquote summit about, for entertainment purposes only, and rumoredly weapons assistance for Vladimir Putin and Ukraine. And I want to look at um, what kind of prompted the meeting, what's being discussed, and what's going to be the outcome for the world. Um, going to use the tarot for this read. And bear with me. God of my angels, please give me a read on Rocket Man Kim Jong Un and Vladimir Putin's summit. Of what import will this be to the rest of the world and the United States and Ukraine? God of my angels, in truth, in truth only, in truth we are the truth we seek. Without bias, please give me your truth, even if bleak. Russia reversed, everybody. Okay. As my geometry teacher used to say before she was at her blackboard, and she tried to explain something as poorly as she did. Okay, folks. I did horribly at geometry. I had to, I was horrible at it. Okay. So, <laughs> you know, on the surface, Mother Russia, fine. Mother Russia reversed. Um, are they in decline? Are they no longer in their authority, in their power? Yes. Um, what, uh, at this particular moment, does this mean? <clears throat> I think it... I think they're devoid of any ideas, and this could be grandstanding. Normally, for most people, this is the Biden card, but we have to read this as the challenge. This is reversed. I think, and I do not believe for a second that Joe Biden has goaded anybody. Um, I believe, however, that the Cold War is in effect, and I do believe that there can't be diplomacy with people who have no discretionary emotion. And when I say discretionary emotion, I mean for the collective. Um, and I think if this is Biden, he's bullshit. And justifiably so. That's why it's reversed. Now, in the past... And this could also mean, too, that, you know, he's in a position where, and I know people don't like hearing this, I know people are sick of hearing about the age thing where he's concerned, but you have to concede. We've heard some strange things from him um, that have been incoherent. I have gotten on a couple of occasions, as a couple other readers have, that there's signs of dementia. Um, he might be ready to whip some ass uh, if, if need be. And 
my fear resides with the fact that it could be not just compulsory, but from impulse. <clears throat> In the past, not taking responsibility, walking away, judgment, this is about, you know, and this, uh, this to me, if we're reading about Putin and we're reading about Kim Jong-un specifically, um, we've got to, you know, remember to bring it back to that. Um, we had the judgment card up, right? We had this card. Um, they're not taking any responsibility for their own stance in the world. In other words, they, they don't want to think of themselves in a bipolar world. Um, they're walking away from any overtures that may have been made to kind of rectify things in the past. And now they're waiting for their ships to come in. I mean, not ships to come in, but for the world to cast its own aspersions. And they're afraid of the judgment that could be bestowed upon them. That's why this is coming in and in the past I think both of them together have realized that in that stagnance or being in that stagnation um, they're lone wolves so they're walking away from their own they're, they're, they want to divorce themselves of any emotion or be, of any ties to the rest of the world because they feel exiled in their own minds, okay? And they don't want to take responsibility for how they put themselves there. And that's why, at this particular point, judgment awaits them, okay? But if judgment awaits them, they want to be the ones on their terms to to say hey you're not going to come in and f with us that's why we get this like this but unfortunately all the might is not there in the past so that's why there's this meeting of the minds right now between the two of them um in the future what i see It's, it's they against the world because I get um, everybody including everyone outside the world is looking for a new perspective on how to deal with them but between Trump and Kim Jong-un and Trump and Putin and Trump and Kim Jong-un and Kim Jong-un and Putin and Putin it's about it's about these unholy alliances, and we can't see our way out of it. And until um, until something impulsive does happen on either side whether it's the United States, whether it's either, you know, bipolar. They want to think that they're in a bipolar world, but they're not. There are too many people against them, yet they want to think that they're going to make, they're going to make a decision that's going to affect the rest of the world. They're simply not. It's going to be us, we versus they right so until one of us does something impulsively and that's why when i see the see this card the inability to make a decision or um you know someone was you know um resting more on intuition than actual thought uh, actual logic I think something impulsively could happen that could break out. I don't know the timeline. I don't know how. But I don't like it. Let me get a clarifier on that.
God of my angels, um, are Putin and Kim Jong Un planning an assault with a biological or nuclear weapon? on any of the allied forces fighting on behalf of the Ukraine or the Ukraine itself. God of my angels, in truth we are the truth we seek, no matter how bleak. Please tell me if, in fact, Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un are actually going to go through with some sort of biological warfare or nuclear attack on Ukraine and or its allies. God. I don't like this. It makes me think of Russia. I'm seeing complacence. Um, I'm seeing abundance, but this doesn't really give me any sense that they're actually going to go through with it. What it does give me, though, is some sort of element of grandstanding that uh, Russia is sitting in, in what it thinks is the catbird seat with um, the ability to manipulate. And, of course, Kim Jong-un has been good at that, too. Um, so I, I really think this is just all for show. I, I'm... Really. And at the base of the deck, which am I going to call on? This was the top. Queen of Cups reversed. This has ever been a mother that manipulates or... An element of jealousy, anger, bitterness, a sort of barren feeling, if you will, um, that the, the world's not with them and that really fries their ass, both of them. <laughs> 